What we have here is a four channel battery equalizer. This little guy can balance 12 volt batteries. He can balance 2.4 volt batteries. No need to put them in series. Um, this is something that everybody needs. This can do a 24 volt battery, a 36 volt battery, 48 volt battery. You can daisy chain these as well. And I'm gonna show you how that works. I've got uh, four power supplies. I've actually got more coming because I'm gonna show you how you can actually daisy chain these guys. So let's say your battery was 33.2 volts for a cell. Um, if you bought uh, lithium ion cells that were 3.2 or 3.6 volts, you could use this equalizer just like a BMS. The only thing it doesn't do is temperature, uh, overcurrent, etc., overload. All it does is balances those cells. Okay, so a very simple way to have a BMS. So this is basically a 12 volt BMS. As you know, that inside a lithium ion battery like that. You've got uh, four cells inside there, and then there's a BMS inside that balances each of these cells. But there is nothing, if you put two batteries in series, there's nothing that if this battery gets full, this one will also get full. Because if this battery gets full, it'll shut off and it'll stop current flowing to this battery to charge it. And the opposite is also true with discharging. If this one discharges first and that's still charged, it's going to stop this one from discharging because this is going to cut the circuit. Okay? So... What we have is, I'm going to show you, I've got a couple of power supplies representing voltages of different batteries. And 10.5, uh, 10.8, 11.6, 12.7. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you how to connect this battery balancer up. Uh, in the manual over here, it shows that we can either connect the batteries up with red and black, red and black, red and black over each positive and negative. Or if you have a lot of batteries together, let's say... And you can combine these two together to make one cell in parallel and put your combiner over that the same way. So you can use one combiner for many, many batteries that are connected in series parallel. And uh, <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is pause the camera and show you what happens. So I've got this battery equalizer hooked up to this power supply, which is 10.5 volts. I'm going to put that in there. And uh, this is connected to nothing else. Then you'll notice the, volt the voltages on these power supplies are a little bit off as well. So that 10.4 is reading 10.6 over there. So what I'm going to do now is I can take any one of these wires. It doesn't have to be any in any order or anything like that. And hook it up to the next, uh, the next power supply. And let me show you what happens. So as I touch the positive lead, this is the next input to the next power supply. You'll notice that the power supply with the highest voltage now is going to take the lead. That one's going to drop off, and now the one with the highest voltage, and you notice that voltage went to 10.8 as well. So this is what will happen to your battery eventually with about uh, 10 amps, 5 to 10 amps being pulled from the highest voltage battery pushed to the next one. So as I touch the wires, 10.8, and I move on to the next one. And I put these power supplies in consecutive order just to make it kind of easier. So what I'm connecting now is just i've just taken another input it doesn't matter where if it's in sequence or not with this 48 volt unit um, and the batteries don't even need to be connected in series or anything like that so you can just have you could just have it balance batteries anywhere anywhere in circuit it doesn't have to be in in series so if i touch the next power supply is 11.6 volts you'll see you'll see it makes them all become 11.6 it's pulling from this power supply to supply to the others and so it goes on. And the other one I've got it set at 12.7. So I'm going to show you what happens there. So now I'm connecting the last power supply up. Just connect that positive wire on there, please. I can also do it with one hand. Thank you. <laughs> so now you see they're all gone to 12.7, 12.6. And if I had to raise this voltage on this cell over here to 14 volts or so, you'll notice that it raises the voltage on all of them so it takes the highest one and tries to equalize the from the highest one and takes it and equalize it to the lowest one now what happens if we had 48 volts this is 48 volts and there over there it's showing you all the voltages on the cells and obviously it's trying its hardest to balance all these things and i've limited the current on this um this little power supply so now what happens if you have another let's say a fifth battery that you need to balance pretty simple just need another unit. So now I've got like essentially 
five 12 volt batteries it could be in series they could be in parallel it doesn't matter they don't, it could be not connected at all but now if i want to if they were in series and i wanted to balance them all you'll notice all different voltages as well okay then just simply daisy chain connect one unit to any battery in the middle there and whichever battery it connects to it'll try and balance these batteries to the, the same bat uh, the same voltage to whatever those or that side is and then you see this power supply came up as well it was sitting at 12 volts and now they're all trying to balance it around the 14 volt mark but bear in mind that all these power supplies are not calibrated if i put my meter on you'll see that they all are close and there's some obviously some amps that are trying to flow between the different units and uh, so these all balance each other out so these are essentially must have for 48 volt systems or even 24 volt systems uh, it can be used for 36 volt systems just fine just as a side note um, the uh, these things go down to 2.4 volts per cell and uh, so what i have over here it's just showing you what happens even though the display turns off at about 4.2 volts I've got this down to 2.5 volts okay so if I if I'm upping the power supply over here it's changing it on that side as well so right down to 2.5 volts and I'm going to drop this one 1.9 volts so it is still working even though the display is dead that's quite amazing quite an amazing piece of equipment this over here so if I pop this up all of a sudden to 12 volts or whatever it, the display just came alive at four volts or so and uh, there we go your battery equalizer quite an amazing piece of equipment bearing in mind these inputs are not made for anything more than 14.5 or 14.8 volts 15 volts in fact 14.4 um, volts is what it says so no more up than 14.4 volts on any single cell. So you cannot have a, you cannot put 24 volts on one of these inputs. It's going to blow the unit, but you can do smaller voltages. So essentially, this is what an install would look like. You'd have the first pair of wires over there, red and black, going to the first battery, negative and positive. Okay. Then the second pair over there, go to the negative post. Of this next battery and then the positive terminal to the next battery and so we go on and then the next pair obviously I've got to pair number three to the negative terminal of that battery and the positive terminal of that battery and you can see these batteries are pretty similarly balanced balanced I've had um, I've had it on one of these balances before the Battleborn is a bit higher though than this second battery which is 13.1 this one's at 13.2 and what I have is a simulation as my sec as my third battery I want to just show you what happens. So if I disconnect this power supply, I've got this power supply set at 11.5 volts. Okay, so this balancer is trying to obviously put power into my, my power supply. And I'll show you what's happening at the moment. If I use my current clamp meter, which I've zeroed, I set to DC amps, and I put it on there, you'll see there's a 0.16 amps coming out of there. And let's have a look on that negative wire. And there we've got half an amp going into that battery. And then we've got half an amp going into that battery. And obviously there's hardly any amps going to this power supply because it's just uh, only 30 milliamps. But what happens now, if I had to increase the voltage on this power supply, watch what starts happening. The moment I start going above 13 volts. So I've got my battery now set to, let's say, let's say this battery was 14.4 volts. I'd have essentially two amps coming out of this battery. Two amps coming out of this battery, feeding the others. And then we'd have, um, let's have a look. I'm trying to look through the camera. We'd have 0.3 amps over there. 1.3 amps going to this battery over here which was the 13.1 volt battery so it's trying to bring that 13.1 volt battery up first before it does the others and let's have a look over here and that's 0.6 amps so that's where all of our amps have gone to is trying to distribute that load 
trying to charge them all to 14.3 volts, 14.2 volts. So <clears throat> that's just another demonstration of how this battery equalizer works. Um, and then please check out my part B video on battery equalizers. I'll show you how what happens if you have a fully charged battery with an empty battery and how it fools the inverter, how your battery, your inverter can really trip at 25 volts with the empty battery. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, you can get these off our website and they're under 60 bucks. Uh, it's a real bargain. I have so many headaches with phone calls every day. Um, questions like these with batteries that have failed people. Uh, that's why I've decided to uh, get this uh, uh, out to market and to help you guys please to balance your batteries. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.